<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Christmas time in April. New Hearthstone set just dropped, and we got about 135-ish packs. I don't know actually, because uh, they just handed out some just for just for being a cool guy. Uh, so we're gonna back out of this. There's a chance I delete like every single one of these decks. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. The game is super laggy. Is in Hearthstone super laggy? Uh Yeah, they're just telling us these changes. A lot of these are actually a, a pretty big deal. This probably kills uh, what is that called? Freeze Mage for the first time in the history of the game. And this could seriously hurt the Miracle Rogue to the point where it just doesn't exist. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot I have those. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, special quest. Uh, we get this new icon. That's a rogue icon or something, isn't it? We've got Golden Valera, so that's that sucks. You have no standard decks. Create some. Uh, we'll get there in just a second. Let's go buy. We got we got 75 packs worth of gold here. So I'll go ahead and explain the situation. This video is going to get uploaded to YouTube for sure. Our pack opening. I I'm a free to play player. Yet I pre-ordered Ungoro. How does this happen? Well, I'm still free to play, in my opinion. Uh, Google offers Google Opinion Rewards, which you answer surveys and you get you get some loose change, basically, for answering those surveys. And I've done that a year and a half, maybe two years, and through that have built up fifty dollars of Google credit, which you can then use to buy packs. So that's how we got there with that. Uh, I've got to figure out. I'm a noob here. I don't know how to tell it. I don't know how to up the money cost. Yeah, I imagine the the store is going to be very, very laggy, very crashy here at the start because you're talking. I mean, what this is like the third or fourth most popular game in the world. Everyone's logging on right now to do exactly what I'm doing. It'll be an interesting experience. Should be a lot better once we actually get the purchase. Now, how do I bulk buy? I go through this every single time. Oh. <laughs> random, uh, <laughs> random Twitch thing playing. I just wanted to see. Yeah, Hearthstone is second, second highest streamed right now. Mostly because of this. How do I tell it to do more cards than 100? Okay. Click the one pack button, I think. <laughs> there we go. We got to like double click it or something. I want 74. Quanti can I see 50? Oh yeah. How delicious does that look? Let's do it again. 24. All of the packs. I normally, for most expansions, I only get around 125 packs anyway. So in theory, we're kind of done with this set, except uh, this set in particular has more legendaries than like every other set. So we'll probably be getting more and more of this. So I'm going to go ahead and max out on 133, what I can get right now. And as we get close, we're going to keep track of the ticker, the pity counter, um, and I will end the last pack I ever buy of Ungoro. We'll have a legendary in it, and then we won't buy any more packs after that. That's how you do this. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the pity counter as a consistent reminder of, let's not forget to do that. Nope. Uh, I keep track of legendary and epic uh, because if I need just like one more pack to get another epic, it's, it's worth it to go there. 
What uh what is the pity counter for epic? I forgot. I think it's twelve. I know it's forty for legendary. Uh let's turn the music here. You ready? You ready, chat? I'll keep track. Well, it's all in video, so we can always go back. Let's do this. Oh, it is laggy. Um, on a side note, chronic depression, dude, you're just in time. On a side note, uh, we would really like to get just as many legendaries. Super lucky run here. I know that seems kind of, well, duh, of course you want the legendaries, but for this set, since there's so many legendaries, you're really, really, really hoping for a, a good, good luck streak. Oh, that's loud, isn't it? Let's turn that down a little bit. Congrats to my boy, Blixed. Oh yeah, we a little a little laggy here in the game. This means I get to interact with the chat. Yeah, now that chronic depression's here, we should be super lucky. Look at that. Three packs. Uno legendary. It's crap. But here we are. Some people are really valuing the Tolvir Warden and the uh, the Hunter deck. I don't think it's that great. Uh, charged Devil Sword is definitely not that great. Jewel McCall was the best card in the Legendary pack. <laughs> yeah, it's better Web Spinner though, so that's not really saying much. That's arguably better than a lot of Legendary packs. Ah, I haven't really built any decks around this, but that one will be fun. <laughs> it's exciting to get. Mm, may go into the Taunt Warrior deck. Uh, realities are the little, little dino that we just had with Taunt. It's not very powerful. But I think when you combine it with all the other taunts, that it's just going to fit right in. And so that may be that may be where we're at. Like, it may not need to be powerful, because your deck's just so good with all the other taunts, basically. I want this card to be good, but I don't think it's going to work. And wild. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun with turn 3 muster, turn 4 that guy. Not that it's insane. It's just fun. Oh. Another one of these. And you can combine it with, uh, who's the guy that, that buffs your silver hand recruits? Ah, oh, there's their playset already. Are we really starting the stream with Dynomancy Hunter? I'm more inclined to play the Dynomancy Hunter than whatever plant legendary we got. He's really not that great, because you're talking uh, the Shield Master. I know it's Masta. I, I hate saying that word. I sound stupid. Is a three-five for one less mana, so you only get one more defense for this this death rattle effect. And it could, if you're not running the Curator version, it could take a while for that six-nine to kind of pay off. This card's trash. Uh, this card is secretly like a top five common. Possibly a top five card period. Yeah, I went there. I 
There's a little small, a little small subtlety there. Secretly. You get it? Secretly. We're going to be streaming for a long time today at this rate. I love getting the Goldens. Those things get disenchanted in a hurry. How's uh, game volume, guys? <laughs> this card is uh, <laughs> not good, but I have a mid-range, somewhat aggressive Murloc Paladin that it may end up slotting in. There's essentially uh, the core of the deck's like 25 cards, and there's five. Oh gosh, we're gonna get pushed towards it. Uh, I'm not afraid to play it. We'll, we'll do the uh, the paladin nonsense if we land the quest. Otherwise, I'm not that interested. Um, but yeah, that paladin deck that I got brewing. The core looks strong, and you end up with like five five slots. You can do whatever you want. And so there's a lot of flex in it. I'll show you the deck list if we get there. Uh, the only legendary I'd be banking on is the the Paladin one, Sunkeeper. Oh gosh. If you don't know, you can. Oh my gosh, oh, that's some DE fodder. You can uh, hit space to bring that guy right on over. I learned from a streamer, so maybe you should too. What do you think? Do you like the instant open or do you like the hover? You like where I tease you a little bit, where we hover over it to see what the rarity is before we pop it? Oh, that was an epic, I didn't even know. I didn't, I didn't hang out long enough to see what it was. Uh, this card may be actually pretty strong, even in like the J Druid, which is the likely version of Druid that's going to stick. Because you're talking about, you know, landing it on a, a Jade, like a even if it's a 3-3 Jade. But it's easy to land it on, you know, like a 6-6 Jade. Even just as a one-of, it, it could get there. And it may just be a one-of because you, you really only want it to, like, late game. But gaining 6-7 health, essentially, could be really cool. I forgot this card existed. Hmm. Uh, two so far. I don't even think we're... Yeah, we're not even 30 packs in. Only, only two so far. Dankster gangster, dude. It's so nice of you to join us. I should have figured you would be here. You can't resist. <clears throat> Alright, we're 30 packs in. Do you like the tease? Two legendaries in uh, in 30 packs is actually pretty good. Uh, I believe average is somewhere around like 25. You should get right at four or five legendaries in 100. That'll be fun. Alright, we're good there. Thank you. Stop giving me those. I'm playing loading screen stream loading screen simulator. 
So I decided to stop by yours. What a baller. You haven't answered my question, chat. You like you like it when I hover? Crips doing a baby rage stream about RNG right now. Isn't that his stream every day? That's all he's got, right? He's just being salty about RNG. That's his that's his shtick, as they would say. Uh, that card looks good, but in practice, I don't think it is. I should probably, like, hang out and talk about cards a little bit. So just zooming right past. Uh, a lot of hype around this one because it's Ancient of War. This is not Ancient of War. Ancient of War will quickly end the game. Whereas this guy is just pitiful on offense. <clears throat> Uh, saw some hype on Reddit about this one. Card's actually trash. Mm, I don't think it's very good. Golden Woman. Uh, very key player in that that deck. Uh, key player in that deck, but that deck's going to be uh, more unplayable than the the beast one. There's like no reason to play the the quest druid because the the jade druid is just going to be like the same thing but better. Ask me how long I've been waiting to get into Hearthstone, dude. I loaded right in. I didn't have any issues. Uh, this card is quite insane. Saw comments, uh, I forget what streamer I was looking at was talking about. One of the designers said, well at least they won't play it in Aggro Shaman. And I think it was Kibler and he was just like, are you sure? Because <laughs> this could see play in Aggro Shaman. Uh, the old Aggro Shaman, I could, I could agree with him. Because could you imagine, gosh, what's that thing called? The Totem Golem? Like turn two Totem Golem. Coin, like you attack with a totem golem into something and probably kill it, and then you heal up the totem golem with this guy on the next turn. Yeah, you can see play in aggro, Shaman. Uh, it won't now that both the trog and totem golem have rotated out. Rest their souls. This card is is like a twenty eight percent chance it sees play in the Taunt Warrior deck, which is a lot higher than what I would think. <laughs> Religion. Oh, I wanted this. That's going in the, the mid-range Murloc deck that I got brewing. Wild's going to be so fun. There's some interesting... There's some interesting synergies. There's some stuff that they put in... Uh, I don't think it's playable. There's some interesting stuff they put into uh, this set that will have, like actual good synergy and implications in wild I don't know if it's enough to uh, like really make the format that interesting um, in my opinion secret paladins is, is like broken so hunter quest is good yeah uh, hunter quest as life coach has put it Basically, there's a 50-50 chance it's either absolutely busted and breaks the game, or is irrelevant. Uh, I think it's a bit on the strong side, so it may be breaking the game. Like it, 
the hunter quest could be taking pirate warrior spot as as the aggro deck. All right, we should be getting close. As a free to play player, I just don't want repeat legendaries. As a free to play player, I really don't want any repeats. Like if I can get as many unique cards as possible. No one likes hunters. I've seen a lot of comments recently where people talk about the days where we complained about hunter killing us on like turn eight. And now pirate warriors like consistent turn five, turn six. Oh gosh. I'll have fun playing that card, but I don't think it'll be good. Ooh. Bets in chat, what is it? I'd be interesting to see the control discard deck. Is it going to be a repeat? Legendary. It's almost worse than a than a repeat. I don't even know if that card will see play in the elemental mage. Probably not, because that deck's about tempo. And Pyros is like actually a tempo loss. It's a value card, not tempo. This card is actually well designed. Because it's it's like the first one mana two three that's not like auto include in control decks. And Kibler was happy about this card because he's been wanting a defensive beast in mid-range hunter. I've seen mixed reviews on this one. About 80% of people think this card is just like auto-include in the elemental decks. But how good is a 5-mana 4-5 draw card? Like you can compare it to Azure Drake. Azure Drake would, is, is, would be better in the elemental deck though. Seriously. Oh gosh. Trump said is his secret dark horse pick. Put this at like a five star card. Be because of handlock. To be fair though, he's a little uh he's a little biased towards handlock. It's like his favorite deck of all time. He was good at it though. Is control mage possible? I actually kinda think so. But you need, uh, with the new Meteor card, six AoEs, maybe too much, between uh, Blizzard, Meteor, and Flame Strike. Oh, sorry, stream. <laughs> oh, rip family stream. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'll pop in in a sec. We'll be done. The family stream dream. Rip. J Druid makes control cry. Yes, yeah, one of the things I was talking about with the, the Taunt Warrior. It may actually be able to beat the J Druid, which would just like completely flip everything on its head. Because Jade is supposed to beat control. I mean, it's the whole reason why we didn't really see Control Warrior. And because, like, the moment that Control Warrior shows up, right, Jade starts showing up and then just wrecks it. 
That's the theory. Uh, but with the the taunt control warrior that's using the quest, you can basically use taunts to kill early jades, save all your spells, rush the quest, and then use hero power to start taking out jades. I have no decks brewed with this card, but it's like sleeper strong. It's like, mmm, there's something there. You first look at it and you're like, ah, I just play a bunch of big things. What deck plays a bunch of big, th big things? Ramp Druid. Let's play it there. Except Ramp Druid also plays a bunch of ramp. And so turning your, you know, wild growth into a five mana card or your innervate, which will be worse, into a five mana card. That sucks. Astral Druid, Astral rotated out. We could play it in. Uh, it is going to be strong in that deck, though. Uh, so in Wild, we're going to see Day Nine have a lot of fun with that. Can we get a mature stream? <laughs> yeah, I got to update stream info. That's how taken back I was that my dude only got one legendary in, in 58 cards. I mean, it's right with the pity timer. And it was Clutch Mother, which is a good one to get. I mean, his one legendary is better than the three that we've gotten because uh, it's actually playable. This card, so strong, and uh, it's just like a key role player. It's more so the Hunter Quest. It's like the best card in that deck. Um, and as far as the Elemental deck goes, yeah, eh, it just kind of plays a role there. But in the Hunter Quest deck, it's secretly the best card. You know, other than the quest itself. This card overrated. The 2 1 that puts a 4 3. I don't even know if you want it in the Hunter Quest deck. Seriously. Because. Putting a 4-3 into your deck, which you're not going to see until, you know, 12 cards later. Um, you should complete the quest early, and it's actually worse than drawing one of the 3-2 the Raptors after you complete the quest. You would prefer a 3-2 Raptor that draws a card than a 4-3. Uh, what rotated out? Blackrock Mountain, TGT... And uh, League of Explorers. I'm partly going to miss Reno. Um, but the Reno Mage was my favorite deck in probably a year. Maybe more. So we'll kind of miss that. Alright, come on. Let's get something interesting. I appreciate the, the three legendaries we've gotten. But we need something that's playable. <laughs> the the problem with Reno is that it was like a coin flip. Like against aggro decks, if you got the Reno on turn six, you just basically just won the game. If you didn't, you lost the game. And that's kind of silly. Uh, I got mixed feelings. I haven't really put together an Elemental Shaman deck. In theory, the card itself is not that strong. Two mana, one, one. And you're talking about it's basically going to reduce the cost of like two Elementals, maybe three. At two, you basically paid two mana for Innervate and a one, one. 
That's not that great. But it could be that the version of the elemental shaman is like just chock full of elementals. There's like nothing else there. I don't think it will be that way. But if it is, it's possible that that card is, uh, will see play. Because it just ups the curve. It's possible that Elemental Shaman is actually so good, there's nothing but Elemental Shaman mirrors, and if you don't have that card that makes you curve out earlier than the other Elemental Shaman, you just lose. This card could be interesting. And this one's better than a lot of people give it credit for. It's not it's not saying much because people are giving it no credit. But three mana guys just like the three mana slot and like every deck across the board is very weak. And so it may just end up seeing play. I don't think. And probably not. I'm just talking here. I'm just talking. I'm just saying things. Going to miss the discover mechanic with Raven Idol. There's a uh, there's plenty of discover. That is like it's probably the area where this game has succeeded the most. Like you can't do discover in Magic the Gathering, right? And it's uh it's been an interesting mechanic. But it works best when you, you limit the area of Discover. Like, Finley was a pretty good card. <clears throat> but when they limit it to, ooh, this card is cool. I'm glad to get that one. But when it's like, Discover... I don't know, I'm trying to think of... Scott discovers they're actually designed poorly. Reality are most of them work, work quite well. Uh, we should be getting close again, guys, right? Maybe not, because I've been talking a bunch. And slowing down our rate. Trying to enjoy this a little bit. Could see playing the control discard warlock. That's probably not going to be a thing. Trachanoid uh, OP? Yeah. Yeah, the problem with that card is it got tagged as a dragon itself. I don't mind it other than the fact that it was... You could chain it. And that was what it was, like, so often. Like, in the Dragon Mirror, you could chain it, but then with the Nether Spite Historian, you could get one. Repeat legendary, that's our that's our money again. We've gotten three out of how many legendaries are there? How many legendaries are there in this set? I actually don't know that. I just know it's more than most uh most sets. Uh not mad. This one will be fun because there's like two two or three different ways you can design this deck. One is just all in on Murlocs, which would probably be the version that works. But you could also do a controlly version, uh, where you do just Finja. I really liked this core. It's the Primal Fin Totems, the Unite the Murlocs or whatever it is, Call in the Finishers. This is Unite the Murlocs. So it's the Totem, Call in the Finishers. You run the Hasty Guy, Bluegill, Finja, and then the War Leader. And so Finja will always pull. Bluegill and War Leader because the other way you get Murlocs, Call in the Finishers, and the Totem are not actually Murlocs. And so you, you still get the Finja package and you still get cards that contribute towards the Unite the Murlocs quest. Um, and then you just fill the deck with other things and you basically rely on that very small package to, to get you there. And it can, and 100% can still get you there. And you can throw in another Murloc or two. Uh, because even even the Murloc package for a lot of the decks ran still ran Finley. 
I get that Finley's stronger and has that utility, but like just percentage-wise, it's it, it still works. It's okay. It helps if it's a low mana world Murloc, because you just end up keeping it. Control, I think, will be bad. Control will be bad depending on if J Drew is around. Ah, uh, that car is cool. Um, it's it's debatable as if this one or Blaze Collar or a split will see play in Elemental Shaman. If aggro is super strong, you'll see the the Sentinel that we just saw. You'll see a lot more of that. If it's controller mid range, you're gonna see the blaze caller. Um, but you could arguably, you arguably just see a mix of both. Probably a two one split, depending on what you're trying to beat. If unite the murloc was for paladin, that would be absolutely crazy because I think the murloc paladin deck is actually on the strong side anyway. If we get the Sun Keeper, uh, that's where we'll go. As it stands right now, we're going to be making a Murloc Shaman deck first. For funsies. Of note, everybody's going to be playing their, their janky for fun decks starting out. Um, so we got some we got some room to play as well. If I really wanted to abuse everybody and hit legend as fast as possible, just play an aggro deck, which would be the hunter quest right now, in my opinion. Oops. Mm, I don't really think it's there with the living mana. It's close. The real complaint against living mana is not even living mana. It's just like if you're going to play Druid, play J Druid. I'm already climbing with it in wild. Dude, play it in standard. What's wrong with you? Did you open the hunter quest or did you craft it? Alright, we're getting close. The next legendary, which we'll, we should crack a legendary before we run out of packs. I'll start keeping track on our uh, pity timer. Wild is cancer. Well, they don't balance around wild by any means. Um, so it is kind of... Kind of, uh... Kind of annoying. Uh, Secret Paladin is, like, just insanely strong. Uh, but I do think Freeze Mage is good against it. No one plays Freeze Mage, though, in Wild. Mmm. Uh, a lot of talk about this card. People were super excited starting out. They were like, rip, rip Pirate Warrior. Then a lot of people realize that other ooze, whatever, the Acidic Swamp ooze, is actually stronger, which it is. But in decks where you need, like, a 3-drop, three, a three like I've already talked about like a lot of decks, three mana is a, a spot where it's kind of open. You don't have good three drops. Uh, this guy will fit right in as a tech choice if you need it. You built Secret Mage. Did you open uh, open that quest too? It's like my fourth or fifth Vine Cleaver. Acidic is strong as always. You could arguably run both. That's probably too much. Uh, but depending on the... Okay, there it is. Depending on the deck, um, that other one would slot in, slot in better. And again, the little mid-range Murloc Paladin deck that I've been kind of brewing. Um, the three drop slot... The two drops is, is fine, so you don't need more two drops. But three drops you may... Maybe like, oh, I need could use something else, and that guy would fit fit right in. Ah, oh, you're rocking um, 
secret paladin in wild. It's a good one to build. It's quite cancerous, but... It gets the job done. Oh, did I get three rares in this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this art. Oh, that one's cool. We may not disenchant that one. I know a clown who built Secret Pally in Wild. The only thing I actually crafted was uh, Tyrion. Everything else I opened. I, the, the irony was is that I cracked open two Mysterious Challengers from packs that I got out of Arena. So while everyone was suffering and, and standard, you know, it wasn't standard at the time, while everyone was suffering against Secret Paladin, I'm over here playing Arena, cracking open Secret Paladin stuff, going, uh, uh. Alright, I'll come join you guys. 4-8 can attack. May actually be stronger than what you think, my dude. Uh, Purified Priest is the meme, but honestly, any defensive deck where you kind of taunt it up, that's strong. Uh, what's his face? Trump thinks it'll it'll bring Hand Warlock back into viability. I don't really agree with his claim, but uh, I'm just saying the opinions are there. Why didn't we do? Why didn't I switch my card back? Yeah, it was a it was a two mana four five right. So for one more mana, you get three more defense. It, the card's actually strong. Yeah. All right, should be one more legendary somewhere, and then we'll start tracking the pity counter, and we'll also track the the epic one. What is? Neil, do you know what the, the epic uh, pity counter is? Is it 8 or 12? I'm thinking 12. that there's a lot of chatter about how this thing went off on the uh, the Hearthstone stream. Not consistent. Fun, but not consistent. Run that by me again. Uh, so, Pity Counter. When I talk about Pity Counter, as you open packs of a particular set, it keeps track of it. So, for instance, Legendary is 40. You're guaranteed a Legendary after opening 40 packs of a set and then once you hit that legendary it resets so essentially you're, what it is is you're guaranteed a legendary and it increases the the chance the closer and closer you get to that um, so at 40 you're guaranteed what it means is somewhere around like 25 you're guaranteed a legendary but it exists for all rarities um, above common so at epic it's either 8 or 12 you're guaranteed an epic every 8 packs or you're guaranteed an epic every 12 packs I'm not sure what it is though. It's not 100%, is it? I mean, we haven't verified it, but people looked at the data across uh, streamers, you know, so like, I mean, Crip has said he's opening like a thousand packs today. You start getting good statistics when you analyze all that, that data. And it's, even if it's not 100%, it's like 99.9999. It's enough. It's close enough that I mean, you can just say it, even if it's not. But I, I think it actually is 100% at, at 40. You can get unlucky with RNG. I mean, you can you can have good streaks and bad streaks, but the pity counter's still there. I can be the 1%. It's worth it to track it. 
And the reason why you want to start tracking it is because uh, when I was first, because I am a free-to-play player, and so when I was first uh, ranking up or whatever, building my collection, doing it through Arena, which is the best way to do it, uh, you would get, you know, random packs, and I would keep track of it uh, to know how close I was on a, on a particular set. You got thir you got 13 epics. Uh, when you said I was going to, like, check it, I thought you meant you were going to, uh, to Google it. So 13 out of 65 is closer to 8, isn't it? Uh-oh, there we go. Oh, fam, look at this. Be jealous. This is my first ever. I've never gotten to, uh, two legendaries. Same pack. Uh, one in five, I think, is uh, lucky for you. Double, double pyro. <laughs> Uh, I'm not as excited as most people would be about that. Oh, that's my first golden legendary, too. Look at you. Is that guaranteed, or are you just calling it out? That was guaranteed. I didn't know it. I've. This is my first double legendary pack in the history uh yeah well we may disenchant this <laughs> you got the right idea neil <laughs> down the 13 packs we'll start keeping track of the pity counter so we're at zero right and so 40 packs from now we'd be guaranteed another one um and since we're getting close we'll also track the epic one here in a second Show it to me, baby. Man. Chances of it being golden are massively increased. Oh, I wanted some more exciting stuff. Right now we're going to be Shaman questing for funsies. Rut row. Everybody else starting to log in? It seems to be slowing down. It was picking up pace there for a hot minute. Did you see the Michael J. Fox Trex? Oh, what you talking about, Willis? Are you saying Michael J. Fox T-Rex? What is it like if it's golden and it like spazzes out? Ah. Uh. Somebody's probably got a uh, a gif of it up. Holy cow, let's go. I'm ready to move on now. His hands are all shaky. <laughs> oh no. Here we are in a black abyss. <laughs> All of your packs were that. So league time. No, 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 no. 
that's what we would do like historically while everyone else is logging in and, and crashing servers and those kinds of things which just play a different game why fight it oh Neil <laughs> there should be an empty seat in about quit oh what do we do here is Mason streaming his opening he's already probably opened everything hasn't he He's still in chat. Loading screen simulator. I think he's done. Holy cow, where is he streaming from? I help. One rare spell. Mr. Hubbard just asked, are you done opening? To me? Mr. Hubbard actually tossed yeah, the shit. Whoa. So are you or? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Sheldor, this is a family stream. I gotta actually open my packs. Ah! I'll be back. No one king. Are you <laughs> From a building supply store. No, this is the barn my parents keep me in on the weekends. <laughs> Plus, it's on break. They keep me in all day. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Do I want a spirit massage or a uh, thorn mail next? You get, my dude. Uh, absolutely nothing, actually. Um, I no! I opened 86 packs. Don't have a lot of, the magic damage shouldn't really be hurting you. I got magic damage kind of hurts me. Oh, oh that sucks. Like a lot of it, because two of them are building tanky. A lot of it's trash. Yeah. They just have a leaf that I'll get Is that all they got? Warm up. Oh my gosh, people playing League in 2017? What is this? Oh, look at that timing. We're in. Is Sheldor Mitchell? He is not. I'm not going to tell you who he is. 21k dust. What are you going to craft with it, Neil? What are you looking at? Let's, let's finish it up. Ah, uh, epic. We're going to... Uh, I guess I really don't need to keep track of it. I know I'm going to buy more stuff until the next legendary oh good another living mana <laughs> you were playing league yesterday not by choice you guys forced me I was looking at druid mage I think the mage one's the most interesting right play big dudes in Oh, what is the mage is not a quest? What are you doing in mage? Tempo elemental? Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's where the bright eyes scout belongs is like the quest druid. You can't, it's time warped in both name and design, All right, You can't call it time walk, because time walk is actually broken, and I think the mage quest is kind of too inconsistent to matter. Are you going to combo the quest, though? Because some people are looking at it going, you could just tempo it, which may long-term be the better route.
Last one, kids. I don't expect much. Oh, I totally did not keep count. How many have we opened since last legendary? Do you know? Oh, Blaze Caller's nice. And some, the dust is nice. What? All right. Um, I'm going to. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to stop streaming uh, to cut the video there, so it's an easy upload to to the YouTube's, so we can look at it later. And then, but I'm immediately going to come back, and we're going to do some Murloc nonsense. So we'll be right back. <laughs>